I don't believe multiculturalism has failed. I believe Islam has failed. Sikhs, Sikhs, Hindus, Jews, they haven't failed in the way into British society. None of them have. It's only Islam that's failed. When I first filmed with Tommy Robinson in 2012, he was a leader of the English Defence League. Even though we disagreed on lots of issues, we developed a mutual trust. During that period, he seemed unsettled, and within a year, he'd left the EDL to join the Muslim-led think tank Quilliam. But this was ended by a spell in prison for mortgage fraud. Now that he's out, he's heading up the UK arm of Pegida, a controversial right-wing European movement, which has been attracting crowds of thousands in Germany and other countries. I wanted to understand what Tommy's plans were for Pegida UK, and whether his divisive views had really changed. This is not an anti-Muslim group. I know many great Muslims. We feel Muslims are victims of Islam. And what we wish to oppose and have an open discussion on is the effects Islam have. We have so many people who have encouraged multiculturalism, but as soon as you try to scratch beneath the surface to see what one of these communities believe or feel, you're prevented from doing so. Pegida stands for patriotic Europeans against the Islamization of the West. Tommy has joined the group in a bid to embrace the mainstream, and has aligned himself with two former UKIP parliamentary candidates in a further attempt to legitimise his image. There will be no alcohol on demonstrations, there will be no face coverings, none of the chants that you heard with the English Defence League. This is about creating an environment where families and ordinary people who are opposed to what's happening can come and join us. What we want it to become with the demonstrations is that somewhere that you just jump in your car and you drive up there, there's plenty of parking. It's not a lads day out where you're all meeting up at eight in the morning like we used to with the English Defence League. Everyone's getting having a few beers. What I felt when I left the English Defence League was that it wasn't working, there wasn't benefit fitting anything, and I still feel that's true. I still feel to march through city centres with pig masks on, screaming Allah was a pedo, it's not gonna help any of the situation. So this is about trying to do it completely different. Do you feel like you've changed since those EDL times? Yeah, I've, I've changed. My views on, on, on the problem we face haven't changed. Um, just really what we need to do as. Sorry, I'm just working out, is that the M6? No, it's not, is it? Tommy's first job is to organise a protest march on the 6th of February in a car park just outside of Birmingham city centre. What will you tell the stewards to look out for? Uh, people carrying alcohol. Well, to be honest, a lot of people that don't like me on the, within the real far right, not, not ourselves, but within the real far right. And um, I've been reading little things online where they're saying they're coming, whether they do or not, but um, I'll just be there to recognise who's coming in and who ain't, and to stop certain people who we don't want in. Hmm. We, we, we seem to convince ourselves that all of a sudden if we bomb Syria and bomb Iraq we, and we bomb ISIS, we're going to get rid of this ideology. We're not. That mindset and ideology is flourishing in parts of this city right here across Birmingham, across Luton, across London, across the country. Unchallenged as well. Hmm. Well, Dave, I'm just driving back from Birmingham now. I just spent 24 hours driving around Europe. I've even got it now coming already, already from um, the new lads that have come on, saying, well, this, we're not happy with this, we're not happy with that. Fucking hell, you're meant to be fighting Islam. We're meant to be fighting Islam. People aren't happy over what? Over what? what? It's nothing. If you're going to have a flag that unifies everybody, if you had for the future of our children, yeah. and you have a little black kid, yeah. and a white kid, and, a, and a, maybe even a little Asian yeah, Well, we used to have United Colours and EDL. That's what we called it, some of the banners. We also had a black and white handshake. Yeah? Just to symbolise that that was mainly to let all the, not, all the racists know yeah. this ain't the place for you fuckers, yeah? That's what it was about. And it's also very very difficult for the for the left to attack a whole sea of flags yeah, for message. the future of our children. Yeah. The Pegida organisers seemed incredibly self-aware. The fact they had to discuss how to appear moderate made them seem less so. It felt like they were cynically using the language of multiculturalism as a smokescreen. Tommy offered to take me to Luton where he grew up. He still calls at home, but there are certain parts of town where he feels he isn't welcome. No one can tell you this is a better town now than it was 20 years ago. Worse and worse and worse. Just from growing up in Luton, it gives you a certain mindset. You become streetwise very young, and um, you, see a lot of, you see a lot of violence. Whatever negative things I have in my history, 
they're all part and parcel of why I've done what I've done and why I've been able to do what I've done. So people can say what they like. Yeah, but he used to be a football hooligan. Yeah, but if I wasn't, I wouldn't have lasted the first punch in the mouth, would I? I'd have run away and hid at the first threat of violence. Jesus, it's freezing, isn't it? Yeah. My hands are ice. Toby, you mentioned your mum's of Irish descent. Yep. Did she ever have any troubles growing up? Yeah, my mum my come here. No blacks, no dogs, no Irish. On the shops, on the doors. Do you, do you not see any similarity no. between... There's no similarity. When people try to compare that, it's like, look, there was teething problems. When the Polish come to this town, there was a few teething problems. The Polish children in this town will be like the Irish, like I am, son of Irish, son of an Irish parent, but I'm born here. I'm an English lad with Irish heritage. Tommy, you're often brandished a racist. Are you racist? Do you have any immigrant friends? Most of my friends are sons of immigrants or immigrants. Yeah. Being critical of an ideology, it cannot be deemed as racist. It's ridiculous. Islam is an idea. I criticise that idea. All these people who would shout against me and call me a racist bigot from places like, I don't know, Harpenden or affluent areas in Kensington. None of their kids go to school in a ghetto like this. None of them. You preach diversity, you preach multiculturalism, but you don't participate in it. They don't take part in it. We do. It's forced upon us. And to be honest, our culture's all right. All the cultures, all the other cultures and Religions are fine, it's just this one that just, it will not integrate or work. Tommy claims he wants integration, but this seems at odds with his rhetoric and the whole Pegida project. It just doesn't make sense. I wondered if Tommy Robinson's persona was unable to exist without something to rally against. Would you never think, like, if you hadn't started the EDL, you wouldn't have gone to prison, you wouldn't have been, your family wouldn't have been abused in the way they are. You've had a whole lot of hard times. There's no two ways about it. Yes, I've made myself a target and my family a target, but I still don't regret doing it. Do you feel like the people nearest and closest to you who it has had an effect on would say the same? <laughs> no. No, they'd, they'd click their fingers out to make it all to wish it never happened. Like that. What are you hoping for today? Would you be happy with a thousand? I'd be happy with a thousand, mate. You got to be. Especially when I'm looking at this. I'm happy with 500. Good idea. We want to represent everyone that resides in the UK that stands against hate. Everyone, regardless of race, regardless of colour, regardless of what country your heritage is from. But if you look at the ideology of Islam and you look at the ideology of Nazism, they are exactly the same side of the same coin. If Pegida are really serious about entering the mainstream, then comparing Islam to Nazism is a fatal flaw. Aside from the inflammatory rhetoric, the march went off without incident. Approximately 200 people turned up, listened, then went home. A silent protest without the rabble-rousing of the EDL. This was meant to be Tommy's grand return to protesting, but the whole thing made me feel as miserable as the weather. We will not tour the UK. We found a winning formula. We found somewhere we are free to walk and oppose the Islamisation of Europe. I've known you for a long time now. It's very easy to point your fingers at negativities or things you perceive to be wrong. But to me, you've never offered a solution. You've never offered an end goal. And so it feels very open-ended, Pegida. Um, what's very easy, it's very easy to hold up a sign saying, hope. That's, that's easy. It's easy to hold up a sign saying, refugees welcome. It's not easy to do what we do. Yeah. When you say offer a solution, we just ordinary people. We can't bring about that solution. That's for our political leaders to do. That's for the lawmakers to do. Why are we not being proactive in preventing and protecting the British public? <coughs> There's your end goal. It's not for me. It's not for me, mate. I'm just a kid from Luton Town. Yeah? That's, that's who I am. I know who I am. Tommy Robinson from Luton Town is not going to solve this problem, yeah? But the people who then have... What's, what's the purpose? Because I get the, that you're from a working class the background. I get that you're ostracised because of your views. 
But why are you doing this if there's no purpose? There is a purpose. Surely... The, the purpose is that the politicians fear a mass movement of people. Plus, once we break through to the general public listening, we want to gain support. We want to give enough courage when they see a mass movement of people for people to come out and say the problems. Tommy is charismatic and I can see why people are drawn to him. But he has little to offer bar condemnation. Though his tactics are different now, his views on Muslims trouble me just as much as when I first met him. He doesn't seem to be willing or able to distinguish between Muslims, Islam and Islamic extremism. Whether Pegida UK continues to grow or not, I suspect that we will still be hearing from Tommy Robinson for years to come. God bless every single person in this country of all religions, creeds and cultures. And you know what? Even God bless the Muslims. They'll need it for when they're burning in fucking hell. Yeah!